Hi everyone, welcome to Concepts Hub. We'll discuss the current affairs of 5th April. When is National Maritime Day celebrated every year? It is celebrated on 5th April and the theme for this year is Sustainable Shipping Beyond COVID-19. This year it is celebrating 59th National Maritime Day. Who has been appointed as the new Foreign Secretary by the Government of India? Vinay Mohan Quatra has been appointed as the new Foreign Secretary. Who has been elected as the new Prime Minister of Hungary? The new Prime Minister of Hungary is Viktor Orban and the capital of Hungary is Budapest. The currency of Hungary is Forint. Which Union Minister has launched Broadcast Seva Portal in New Delhi? It is Anurag Singh Thakur. He is the Union Minister for Information and Broadcasting. Indian Renewable Energy De Development Agency Limited has sanctioned a loan of Dash Group to Blue Smart Mobility for electric cars. It has sanctioned a 267 crores to Blue Smart Mobility for electric cars. Which country's central bank governor has submitted his resignation amid financial crisis? That is Sri Lanka. And the governor is Ajit Niwad. Which Indian music composer has won the Grammy Award for his album Divine Tides? And the Indian music composer is Ricky Cage. Which state government has launched Youth Hub, that is Y Hub, first of its kind initiative in the country? And the state is Telangana. And Telangana government, in association with UNICEF, UA, and civil society organization, has set up this Youth Hub. Not only this one, Telangana government has also already set up T Hub and V Hub. Women's Entrepreneur Hub, Technology Hub. Who was the Indian American singer who won the Grammy Award? That is Falguni Shah in the category of Best Children's Album for the music album A Colorful World. She is an Indian American singer, Falguni Shah. In which year Stand Up India scheme was launched? It was launched. On 5th of April 2016, it was launched by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the loan amount under this scheme is between 10 lakhs and 1 crore and the beneficiaries are to facilitate loan to SC, ST and women borrowers for setting up a greenfield enterprise in manufacturing, service or trade sector. So, as of now, the loan worth 30,160 crore has been sanctioned to more than 1,33,995 beneficiaries. Remember the amount and remember the beneficiaries. 30,160 crores and the beneficiaries are 1,33,995. In the previous exams, they asked about the amount also. 10 lakhs in between 10 lakhs and 1 crore. Okay. Gangur festival is celebrated across which Indian state? It was celebrated in Rajasthan. Okay. And the capital of Rajasthan is Jaipur. The women. Okay. During this festival, the women pray for happiness and prosperity by the by worshipping Isar Gaur. That is nothing but Lord Shiva and Parvati. And during this festival, the royal Gangur procession will be taken out from the city palace Jaipur. Sarhul festival is celebrated across which Indian state? It is celebrated in Jharkhand. And the Chief Minister of Jharkhand is Hemant Soren. The Governor is Ramesh Bayas. Which bank has signed an MOU with Border Security Force to offer special benefits through Central Armed Police Salary Package Scheme? And the bank is State Bank of India. HDFC Limited to merge with which bank to create third most valuable company in the country? It will merge with HDFC Bank. 
and the chairman of HDFC Limited is Deepak Parekh. who is the only south asian to be appointed by the un chief to new expert group on net zero emission dr anubha ghosh is the only south indian to be appointed by the un chief to new expert group on net zero emission and the un secretary general is antonio guterres Dr. Anubha Ghosh, he is the CEO of Council of Energy, Environment and Water. Which state government has inaugurated Skill Park and Youth Center? And that state government is Meghalaya. This was inaugurated by Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma. And the capital of Meghalaya, Shillong. Dash, a leading payment and API banking solution company, has launched Soft POS, a point of sale option solution for business. Which leading payment? Cash free payment. Okay. And it also launched other verifications. Which state government has launched the month long school cello campaign to enroll 100% in? primary and upper primary school and the state government is Uttar Pradesh. The chief minister of Uttar Pradesh is Yogi Adityanath. Ross Taylor who was announced retirement from the international cricket he is from which country? Ross Taylor. He is from New Zealand. Dash, l and and Renew Power formed a joint venture company to develop the green hydrogen sector in India. Indian Oil, l and and Renew Power had formed a joint venture to develop green hydrogen sector in India. Remember this three, Indian Oil, l and and Renew Power. Which state government has formed advisory council to develop federal financial model with experts on revenue and taxation which includes GST also. And the state government is Tamil Nadu. Thank you. If you like our video, please subscribe to Concepts.